Well, hello there, and welcome to GetChemistryHealth.com. My name is Dr. Kent, and in this lesson, we're going to discuss how to calculate the molar mass of a compound, and we're also going to discuss how to use the molar mass in calculations to convert between moles and mass. Now, before we begin, you will need a copy of the periodic table, so if you don't have one handy, you can just click on the link here below and print out a copy from GetChemistryHealth.com. Now, we've seen in the past that the mass of hydrogen can just be found off the periodic table. So if you look it up, one hydrogen atom has a mass of 1.01 .01 atomic mass units. Now the nice thing about the periodic table is the mass of a single atom in AMU is equal to the mass of a mole of those atoms in grams. So a single hydrogen atom weighs 1.01 .01 AMU but a mole, or Avogadro's number of hydrogen atoms, weighs 1.01 .01 grams. So a single magnesium atom would weigh 24.31 atomic mass units, but Avogadro's number of magnesium atoms, or a mole of magnesium atoms, weighs 24.31 grams. Same thing for sodium. A single sodium is 22.99 atomic mass units, but a mole of sodium is 22.99 grams. So to find the molar mass of a compound, it's pretty straightforward. All we have to do is count up the number of elements that are present. Then we look up their masses and we add them all up. And whatever mass we get, again, that's the total mass in atomic mass units for a single molecule or a single formula units. But it's also the mass in grams of a mole or Avogadro's number of that compound. Okay, so let's just try an example here. What would the molar mass be of iron 3 oxide? Well, first step, count up how many of each atom we have. So I have two irons, and I have three oxygens. Okay, well, what's the mass of iron? So we look on our periodic table over here. Oh, iron has a mass of 55.85. So that means one iron atom has a mass of 55.85 atomic mass units, or AMU, but one mole of iron has a mass of 55.85 grams. So two of them, and they each weigh 55.85. So if I put that in my calculator, I get a total of 111.70, and that's the mass of a mole. How about three oxygens? Three oxygens, well the mass of oxygen is right here. It's 16.00. So three oxygens have a total mass of 48.00. Now you'll notice here, in terms of significant digits, with molar mass, we typically just give the total as many decimals as the original number had. So iron had two decimals, so when I add up all the irons, I give it two decimals. Oxygen had two decimals, so when I add them all up or multiply them out, I give it two decimals. So then we just add these together, and that'll give me the mass of the entire compound, iron 3 oxide. So I get 159.70 grams per mole. So that tells me that if I have one mole of iron 3 oxide, or 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd iron 3 oxides, it would have a mass of 159.70 grams. How about this compound? Well, this is called manganese 4 per manganate. So how many manganese do I have and how many oxygens? Well, here's one manganese. And then there's another manganese inside the parentheses. But recall that if you have a polyatomic in the parentheses, the number inside is multiplied by the number out here. So I have to multiply the number of manganese by 4 and the number of oxygens by 4. So I have one manganese outside, but then I have four more inside. So that's a total of five manganese. So manganese, it's right here. It has a mass of 54.94. So five times 54.94. That's a total of 274. 0 0.70 grams per mole. How many oxygens do we have? Well, 4 times 4, so 16 oxygens. So what's the mass of oxygen? Oxygen's right here, 16.00. So 16 times 16.00. .00. 
So multiply that out in your calculator and I get 256.00 grams per mole. So we'll add those together. And the total mass is 530.70. So that's the molar mass of manganese 4 per manganate. Okay, one more example. Aluminum sulfate. So this time we have three different elements. We have aluminum, we have sulfur, and we have oxygen. How many aluminums do we have? Well, there's two right here, so two aluminums. How many sulfur? Oh, three sulfurs. And how about oxygen? Well, three times four oxygen, so 12 oxygens. So let's find aluminum. Okay, its mass is 26.98, so two times 26.98. That gives me a total of 53.96 grams per mole. How about sulfur? Well, three sulfurs. Each sulfur has a mass of 32.07. So 32.07. That's a total of 96.21. And 12 oxygens. Again, we've seen earlier, oxygen has a mass of 16.00. So 12 times 16.00. That's a total of 192.00. So we add up all the different elements. And the total molar mass is 342.17 grams per mole. Now you might notice that grams per mole looks a lot like a conversion factor between grams on top over mole. So just like 12 inches per foot. So this says there's 12 inches in a foot or one foot is 12 inches. Molar mass works the same way as a conversion factor between mass and moles. So there's 342.17 grams in a mole of aluminum sulfate or every mole of aluminum sulfate is 342.17 grams. So we can use these molar masses as conversion factors between mass and mole. So I'll show you how to use molar mass as a conversion factor on this example. So what is the mass in grams of 3.81 moles of iron 3 oxide? So 3.81 moles iron 3 oxide and we calculated earlier that the molar mass of iron 3 oxide was 159.70 grams per mole. Okay, well I want to convert moles into grams, so I need moles to go on the bottom down here and grams on top. So I just put it in just the way it's written. 159.70 grams is a mole of iron 3 oxide. So our moles cancels, and we multiply through. This has three significant digits. This has five, so our answer is going to have three. And I got 608 grams. So that's the mass of 3.81 moles of iron 3 oxide. Well, we can also turn mass into moles. So how many moles are in 713 grams of aluminum sulfate? So 713 grams aluminum sulfate. And again, we calculated earlier that the molar mass of aluminum sulfate was 342.17 grams per mole. So we can use that to convert between grams and moles. Well, now I want grams to cancel, so the grams has to go on the bottom, which means the moles will have to go on the top. Because again, with any conversion factor, you can always flip it. 342.17 grams per mole, or mole per 342.17 grams. So 342.17 grams down here, one mole of aluminum sulfate up here. So grams will cancel. And I got 2.08 moles of aluminum sulfate. So that's how many moles would be in 713 grams of aluminum sulfate. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on molar mass. For more practice problems involving molar mass calculations, be sure and click on the next video in the series. And we'll see you next time back here at GetChemistryHelp.com. Thank you.